Hello everybody, how the devil are you? This is Cirque for Sanitarium FM, and today we are taking a look at Valor, or Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse, by Rogue Code Pty Ltd, which they describe as the world's best mass llama slaughter roguelike light-ish couch co-op top-down twin-stick shooter. Sounds simple enough. Setting and plot. Okay, let's get into it. Now, by the title alone, you might surmise that Vala is a quirky game, and you'd be right. Packed to the brim with puns, the game places you as an employee of Llamazon, based in Santa Llama, naturally, who needs to take out the llamas from the Lamanati, former employees of Lamazon, who worked as couriers until they were replaced with drones. There are also references to the hacker group Anonymous, Donald Trump and his insane promises to build a wall, and Star Wars, with a hologram stating, you're my only hope, and that's all in the opening scene. In fact, when you first boot the game up and see the loading screen, you get messages like, I see dead llamas, and funny facts about llamas. The game is so filled with humor and puns, that there is actually a menu option for amount of in-game puns. Although I don't see why anyone would want less than max. The quirks and jokes are so baked into the DNA of Valor that it's impossible to talk about the game without focusing on them. However, in an effort to focus again, I'll try. So the Lamazon rep and your eye in the sky, Melissa, tells you to go out and slaughter as many of the ex-employee llamas as possible does it bode well for you as a new employee with a rather limited job scope. Luckily she assures you that you won't have to fight. Instead, you get to remotely control a quadrupedal robot that will be replaced if it's destroyed. Which seems fair. Tons of llamas versus replaceable robots, all with four legs. Gameplay Basics Gameplay in Vala is comprised of sending your bot, once you pick a lovely colour for it to glow, out into the streets and making mince meat and bloody stains out of every llama that comes charging at you. Although there is an option to turn off the violence, if you're inclined to. Your bot is armed with two weapons. To begin with, these are both pistols that fire singular shots as you tap or hold the fire button or key until they run out of bullets and you need to reload. You can also preemptively reload with another button or key as you play you will gain access to more weapons to swap out your standard pistols with, such as grenades, a hose, an ice beam, missiles, and a suspiciously familiar gun that shoots large slow moving bullets and is definitely not a reference from another game. Psst, it's from Contra. The more kills you get with each weapon, unlocks more options in that category, such as the pistol's upgrade to the machine gun. The bots also have other functions that can be used for offense and some for defense too. There is a launch jump where your bot flies up into the air and crashes down causing area damage underneath it. There is a shield that you can activate when you are reloading or just in a jam. And there's a short dash boost that you can use to escape or pursue the llamas. The dash also leaves a short trail of fire behind it which may or may not be a reference to Back to the Future. My money is on. It is. Each of these abilities takes energy to perform, which can be picked up in the form of glowing batteries that appear as things are destroyed and llamas are slaughtered. Now in addition to the weapons and abilities, there are also supers and perks. Supers are powerful one-shot use attacks that can be launched to clear an area of llamas. They are sometimes dropped off by drones after things are destroyed, much like the weapons and perks are. The perks are received when certain challenges are completed, which change each time you complete the previous one, and can also be found randomly once unlocked. The perks have different effects, such as providing a shield during reload at no energy cost, and increasing power as your life meter drops. When your robot is destroyed, it loses all current weapons, supers, and perks. However, they remain unlocked, so you have a chance to find them again as the drones drop you items off. Valor also contains a local 4 player co-op option, so you can add more chaos on screen with some additional mechs having 2 or more players murdering the llamas. 
Having more players is also the only way to have your mechs recover health. When your mech is knocked out, instead of just exploding like in the single player mode, if you're quick enough, another mech can revive the defeated mech, uh, restoring a fraction of health to the mech so he can live on for more llama carnage. Overall impression. Overall, Father isn't a perfect game. The onslaught of llamas in each room feels like the waves might be a bit too long. Even with the extra weapons, perks, abilities and specials, it still lacks variety. The levels are procedurally generated, so they're redesigned on each run, but they don't feel different enough to avoid feeling pedestrian before long. Similarly, the llamas that you get attacked by come in a few styles, but for the most part you'll be shooting the standard ones en masse for a lot of the game. That being said, in short bursts the game is simple enough to be addictive, with unlocks being plentiful via murdering with a single type of weapon or completing the additional challenges at the bottom of the screen. But where the game really shines is when you can get someone else to sit down on the couch and blast some llamas with you. A shining example of both camaraderie and rivalry. Helping each other out will help in progressing through the rooms, murdering as many llamas as possible. But when all bots are destroyed, you get to see a snapshot of stats to prove who the MVP of the round was. So it's always a little bit of a competition to see who can bag more llamas. And of course, as I mentioned earlier in the review, you can't separate this game from its sense of humor. From the loading screen to the even the doors in the game, the puns are there and the jokes are funny, with funny lines free-flowing throughout the game. A solidly made game with a lot of humor. 6.5 out of 10, and up that to 7.5 if you can get some friends. Thanks for watching everybody, ciao for now! The more you use a weapon, the closer you'll get to management sending you some sweet new ones.